Hi everyone, it's Miss Brenner. I'm here to go over notes with you about the elements of plot. We're going to do this in Edpuzzle, so that way I can ask you some questions, and I suggest that you take some personal notes, whether that be in a Google Doc, or if you want to do it on lined paper, but I recommend that you take personal notes, so that way as we learn to plot, diagram different stories in ninth grade English, that you can uh, reflect on your notes if you should need more support. So let's start off with a short writing exercise. Imagine that a friend is asking you to explain the storyline of a recently watched movie or show. How would you summarize the movie for your pal? What parts of the story need to be told in order to have the story make sense? Take a couple seconds. There's going to be a pause in the Ed puzzle. You're going to have a short answer question. And I'd like you to summarize a movie, a TV show, something that you've seen recently. Uh, summarize it for your friend. Let's talk about what is plot. Plot is a chain of related events that tell us what happens in a story. A complete plot needs the support of other literary elements, such as conflict and foreshadowing. So whenever you're telling somebody the chain of events in a movie or in a TV show, you're actually telling them the plot. You're telling them what happens, and maybe sometimes you cut it short because you know that you're going to touch on the conflict and foreshadow events that would otherwise ruin the surprise that happens after a certain point in the story. So when you tell somebody, you're using elements of plot. These different elements would be called exposition, which is like your characters, your setting, the conflict or the issue that your characters are experiencing. The rising action, which is your complications, different things that your characters face along the way that might not be the biggest problem, like the center focal problem of their story, but it makes it more complicated as they get to that major issue. The climax, which is the largest uh, event in the story, and then your falling action, so what happens afterwards, and then the resolution, how your characters grow. So the who of the plot would be our characters, or persons described in a novel, play, or movie. Our main character would be our protagonist, the leading character of one of the major or one of the major characters. Your antagonist is a character who opposes or is the enemy of someone or something. So the antagonist is typically the enemy of the protagonist. Your setting is where the story takes place. And so when it comes to setting, your setting may change. There may be more than one setting within your plot. The where, such as the time, the place, the different changing of locations would all be described as setting. And they play a central role in the development of your characters. So why is something a story? Your story can't really exist without a conflict. There needs to be a problem faced by a character, no matter how minor that problem may be. This is known as the hook of the plot. It is the part that grabs the attention of the reader. There are two different forms of conflict. There's internal conflict, which is a struggle that occurs within a character's mind, and external conflict, a struggle with an outside force, such as um, nature or other characters. We'll come back to conflict shortly. Let's start off with the idea of plot as a mountain. We're going to be looking at some different images to explain where different uh, elements of plot fall on this mountain. So once again, there are different elements, as you can see there. When you see Plot Mountain, we have the opening of the exposition followed by some form of conflict. We go up Plot Mountain, which is our rising actions. These rising actions oftentimes have complications that feed into whatever the central conflict of the story may be. The highest peak on the mountain is called the climax, which is the highest point in our story. As we go down the mountain, we have falling actions, or things that occur because of the highest point and then our resolution, 
How did our characters grow? As you can see, we've gained distance between where we started out at the opening of the exposition and where we end up at the resolution. We're now going to watch a short clip as a class. This clip is called Partially Cloudy. It's a Pixar clip. We're then going to use a plot diagram, which looks like this, to be able to chart our experience of this uh, short Pixar clip. Thank you guys. That's the end of our notes. Have a wonderful day.